<laughs> you can put that one on the helping hand pile. But Bob gave it to you for Christmas. I thought you loved that game. Two years ago, maybe. Aw. And put it underneath in case he sees it. He won't remember. Well, if he does, it might make him sad. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Come on. I mean it. You almost sound like Renee. Yeah, well, Granny only wants what's right for you. I think we work really well as a team. <laughs> a mother and daughter duo. <laughs> You can write notes for me so I can skip school and we can go shopping. Yeah, you'll love being back at your old school. You will want to skip. I know, but for special occasions. They were very strict on attendance. I remember that. You can get around them. You need to make sure they believe you, though. And why wouldn't they? Renee still thinks I planted the mice. You heard what she said in the shop. I didn't think about the health inspection. I mean, if they shut the shop, she'd lose her job. If you think it would be that bad, why did you take the blame? I didn't want you to get into trouble. Exactly. But it's not much use if Renee doesn't buy it. You would better to be truthful. I don't want to get into trouble either. We'll be gone in a few days. Everyone will forget. You're like my secret superpower. I can get away with anything. Is Gran home? In the kitchen. Why? Is this another intervention? This is you and me. If you think I'm apologizing to anyone for anything, you can forget about it. I've decided that I'm going to go back to Brazil on my own. What do you mean? You're better off here with your grandparents. But we've already packed. I know, this is last minute. Are you trying to blackmail me into saying sorry or something? Ah, I wouldn't blackmail you. See, this is the problem. You think everything with me is games and schemes. So you're just going to abandon me because Renee is annoyed over a stupid prank? She's your gran. And it wasn't funny to her. And it didn't help anybody. Ellie, this is for your own good. You're actually being serious. You need someone who's going to prepare you for life, not teach you to do terrible things. So you're... It's better that you stay here with Bob and Renee. Let's at least try to understand. I don't want you to become the person that I once was. Fine. Leave without me. I don't care. I don't care about any of you. Ellie. Do whatever you want. I hope I never see you again. Hey, Sylvia. What you reading? Lucy Clue's Detective Agency. It's my favorite book ever! Hmm. Um, Sylvia, you know your magnifying glass that I borrowed to look at those frosty spider webs? Hmm. It's behind the pot! <gasps> wow! You know, Sylvia, you're pretty good at finding stuff. Thanks, Becca. It's nothing really. I just notice things. Okay, everyone, try to remain calm. <sighs> but I think someone has sick in my nut stash. Don't worry, Russell. I'll help you solve this mystery. Mm. Did you by any chance eat the nuts and then forget that you ate them? Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. And they were delicious. <laughs> mystery solved and case closed. Ellie? Are you taking me? Can you open the door? Are you taking me? I can't. I apologised. Ellie? Listen. 
I meant it, I did. I... I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be a mother. You can learn. I'm bad. I can teach you. I was supposed to teach you. I'm not a child, Mum. Well. I'm going up. It's, um, it's, um, it's, it's better if you stay here. Please, Mum, take me with you. I'm sorry. Please. I can't. Ellie. Go away. Leave me alone. You're going to anyway.